Hey everybody, it's Steve with Sky194 and I appreciate you taking the time to stop in and visit and check out my video. And I'm doing it just a little bit different today. Um, been working on a setup for the Huracan here uh, for Silverstone for on and off here for a couple days. Um, probably longer, but you can see I've done what, 38 laps here and that's I've probably done another 20 or so before this, so I've probably done 50, 60 laps. Um, but I'm stuck between two uh, setups. No, not setups, but two just a little bit different setups. Uh, kind of one with, uh, you know, a medium medium downforce and then, then another one with a real high downforce. So, you know, it seems like they're both pretty close as far as um, performance, maybe a little bit of edge to the high downforce, but as you can see, um, let's see, let's see, it was this right here, um, I did like a stint here with it, and as you can see here, come up to the straightaway. This is so tough because they're, I mean, they're, it's really weird. It's been trying to figure it out and just having issues trying to figure it out. Trying to, uh, you know, the speed is like the same and I, it just doesn't make sense. And um, the only thing I can think of is I'm just going through these S's a lot better with the high downforce and it's making up the time. So, because the speed is basically the same. And it really surprises me, and I've tried shifting into six. I've tried winding it out in fifth, both setups. It's 157, so that's 157, and I got the, a wing on this at eight, and the other setup I got it maxed out at 12. And we'll go do that now, and then it's hotter. So it's hotter in the day. And it's still running the same speed. Maybe a mile an hour different, maybe. I mean, for a pretty big wing adjustment, it's really weird that it's that close. So I just figured I'd bring you guys along just to see what I'm doing. See, that's one. 57. See, 157. <laughs> I don't know. It's it's really has, and I mean it's even hotter now than it was earlier by far because when I did the other one it was when I first started and it was 24 degrees. Now it's like 25 to 26 degrees so it's a little hotter. And so I mean and I have max wing and I'm running the same speed down the straightaway as I was when I had a lot less wing so it's just really I mean it's the only thing I can figure is I'm running through that those S's a lot better and keeping the momentum up to where I'm running the same mile an hour down the straightaway that's the only thing I can think of but tire wear I, you know, I'm trying to keep the tire wear good and they're both pretty close little bit better tire wear I think for the max downforce compared to the uh, other it has a little bit more front tire wear and the uh, max downforce has about it's about even and you can you know it's because the front the rear tires you're using more brake and you get all that downforce you can use more brake so it, it, it kind of keeps the rear tires and the fronts pretty close so that's better um it's just really really weird but anyway i was just kind of showing you some of the uh different things that i'm doing and it was faster i thought was it this lap that i was faster uh let's see Yeah, see 15964. So I ran a one so that's like two tenths faster too. So I'm two tenths to two and a half tenths faster than I was with the lower down force. And it's warmer now than you know the it's warmer now than it was when I did the other. Oh, so it's really really uh, you know, it's almost kinda like a silverstone short track, <laughs> you know, or something. So let's see if he does it again. Yeah, 157. So again, same speed again, and I got 80 liters. You know, I got 80. You know, I have uh, eight, well, I started with 81 liters, 
on all, both setups. So they, I mean, they're equal there. So I guess, you know, I'll, I'm going to start over again as far as uh, the day and make a few laps and make my final decision to see what I want to do. And we'll see what happens. All righty. I'm, I'm spent. <laughs> I'm pretty much wiped out. Um, try to take a couple breaths and really try to push hard for I did five laps a piece on each one of those and to be honest I think I'm just going to give you both just have them both as a setup because they're so they got both of them have goods and bads um, it's really hard for me to determine you know what I like more than the other and you know maybe one somebody that has a different driving style might want might like the one and the other one, you know, somebody else might like the other. So, you know, it's best better to, uh, I'll just make them both the setup and put them out. And, of course, I'll make the one, you know, like, like I did before, uh, like just put max downforce. And, um, because that one, you got to really, you got to really drive it. I mean, you got to, you have to really push the corners, uh, push the braking zones, um, Sometimes mid corner, you know, do a little teeny bit of trail braking, very light. Sometimes if you just wanted to get it to just, just rotate it a teeny bit more, just little things like that to really get the most out of it. And some people might not might not want to drive that way, you know. I mean, so they might you know want to just you know get on the brakes and let the car roll through the corner and things like that, and not have to uh, work so hard. And and uh, I think the other way, the car rotates a little more. And that's why you don't have to, you know, and of course it probably accelerates a little bit better because it doesn't have as much downforce. Um, so we'll go over them. Let's, I'm going to show you the timetables. Um, and here you go with the timetable. So basically um, on the first, the lower downforce one, it had a better sector by almost a tenth here in the first sector. But then all the other sectors... Uh, were better with the higher downforce, so which doesn't surprise me because that's a lot more corners. Where the first sector, you got the S's and things like that, so that I guess that does kind of surprise me because that shows me that the S's, the higher downforce, I thought would be going through there a lot better, but maybe it just makes it up for down that straightaway. So um, again, the best time I got out of it was a 159.69. That was the best time I could get out of the lower downforce and as you could see you know you know and of course that could be just my driving style so i'm not going to say it's the setup itself it could be just the way i like to drive but you know you could see that it was you know 20 then a higher 59 and a 20 almost flat and then the 5969 so i did it you know after what you know that's the out lap so you got one two three four you know the fifth lap so that's not bad where on this one um, of course, you know, they're having the pits changing it back over. And this one I did, you know, a 95 and then a 44. So that's over two tenths faster. That's two and a half tenths faster. And that's with max downforce. And then they're all, I, you know, they're all 59.8, 59.7, 59.7. And a lot of these could have been faster. Um, they should have been more like 59.6s, all three of these, fives or sixes. They should have been only about a tenth or two away from this. But it's just so hard, you know, getting kind of tired and you just slip a little bit here or there and I just mess up. Just not consistent enough to keep it there because my delta was there. My delta was like right on my delta or a tenth away. And then I would just, you know, lose a little bit the last couple corners or something. And then I would drop to the, especially that last corner. If I, It's such hard for me to get that where you can drift it out and cut it back in that's what you're supposed to do it you know drift it out a little bit cut it back in and you get the momentum down the front straight away and if you just don't do it right i end up losing time so you know i'm just not the greatest on that last corner it's kind of my weak spot so you know a couple times i didn't do that just right so but again you can see it's actually even faster and more consistent but see that's just me somebody else might like the other way better so again um we'll just go over both of them So this here is the max downforce. So we got 24.6 left front, 24.8 left rear, 25.7 right front and right rear. 
The toe is negative 0.2 in the front with the camber at negative 3.7 and the caster at 9.6. The toe on the rear is a negative 0.16 and so I did do that on the rear because I did it the other way, the norm, the way I had it before, always in all my setups past and it was a lot more um, happy. The rear end was happier with the negative toe here on the rear so that's what I left it at. The camera is negative 3.2 on the rear. Electronics are 3 and 4 and 1. Of course, fuel had 81 liters. And this was the tires. So they look pretty good. I mean, it's the first time I've looked at them. They all have light graining just on the front. But if you look at it, I mean, the wear is close. This left front here takes an absolute beating here at Silverstone. I mean, in the past, this left front really will wear fast. And now I see with the update, and if you concentrate and really do a lot more uh, braking on the rear, you can see the wear is really close. It's not too bad. And actually over here, it's wearing a little bit more on the rear than the front. So it's not real bad. It's 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 as close as I've ever had it. So I'm happy with that. Mechanical got six on the any roll bar, 56 on the brake bias. Um, no, 54. I'm sorry. That's what it's, the other setup has. So this is 54 on this. And again, that's one of the differences because you got max downforce. You need to maximize everything from that. So 54 is, is no problem. And actually 53 is even better. So you can go down to 53 within a few laps. I think the last lap I did a 50, I went down to 53. So just to make sure and it was fine. Steering all the way down. Springs in the front are 167,000 with a bump stop rate of 900 and a bump stop range of 3. And on the rear, the springs are 154,000 with a bump stop rate of 700 and a bump stop range of 15. Anti roll bars 4 and the preload on the diff is 60. Um, you can go to 80, but you'll start you'll get a little you will get a little bit of mid corner understeer with that i tried 80 but i even tried to put another click a roll bar but it just didn't work it was fine in some places and not good in other places so it just it didn't work um so it just uh I, the 60 seems a lot better shocks on the front are 10 3 12 and 4 and on the rear they're 10 1 12 and 3 arrow and of course that's all checked with motec to get it you know as close as I can get it. Arrow got 56 on the front, 62 on the rear with a max 12 wing and a three and a three and a brake ducts and the front arrow variation is a 3.4 to the positive. So that is the max down force. And I will save that. I'll make a setup here in a little bit. And now let's go over the other one. So this is the other one the I shouldn't say Mac you know just a normal type setup we got 24 7 left front 24 8 left rear 25 7 right front and right rear the toes negative 0.2 camber is still negative 3.7 caster is 9.6 toe on the rear is negative 0.16 and the camber is negative 3.2 so again most of that's all the same tire pressures are just a teeny bit different and that's because the rear um, I'm doing a lot more braking with the rear, so you have to have a few tenths lower in the air pressure. Um, this you can have it up a little higher because you're because uh, you got a little bit more in the front. Electronics are the same, so everything's the same there. Fuel's the same. Now these were the tires that I used the number one set, and you can see see they got a little bit more wear to the front. Now the rear's about the same. These are about the same here. This is actually a little bit less, so that's good. But you can see it's just a teeny bit more because the other one was uh, 270. It was one click difference. Not click, but, you know, it was like 279 to 280 or it was one off. But this is two off. So it's just a little bit more wear. And, of course, as you go, this is going to increase over that unless you start throwing a lot of rear brake to it. So and you got to be careful with that because you don't have as much downforce to hold it down. So you just got to be very cautious of that. Um, mechanical got six on the anti-roll bar brake bias on this one is 56 and I do that because you don't have the again you don't have the downforce in the back of the car to 
get super aggressive with the break bias. Now, you can go down some more, but 56 is a good starting point. You can go down to 55 with no problem, but after that, you're really pushing it. So, again, I would that's just keep that in mind. Springs are 167,000 in the front with a 900 bump stop rate and a 3 bump stop range. And on the rear, the springs are 136,000 with a bump stop rate of 700 and a bump stop range of 15. And again, the springs are different on the rear with this because otherwise what happens is you get, especially in turn one um, and some of the other corners, you'll start sliding. The back end will start sliding around because it just doesn't have enough downforce to keep it down with a stiffer spring back there. Uh, any roll bars four and the preload on the diff is 80 on this. And it works okay with this because you don't have as much grip back. You don't have as much downforce pushing down. So you need the diff to kind of help keep the back end settled. So, it, you know, it seemed fine, but it actually works really good with 80. Uh, shocks are the same on the front, 10, 2, 13, and 3. And on the rear, 10, 1, 12, and 3. Arrow still 56 in the front. That's the same. 60 in the rear. So that's a little different. And, of course, the wing is an 8. So that's way down over the max. And the ducks, brake ducks are 3 and 3. And the front arrow variation is a 3.9 to the positive. So, again, it's got a lot more. It's got more rotation than the max downforce. So, again, um, I hope you, you know, give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Um, I really try to have, you know, decent setups for everyone starting out and try to be pretty, gen you know, not general, but pretty driver friendly. I really try to have driver friendly setups. So, um, you know, a lot of people are able to enjoy them and, uh, you know, do the best that they can. And, I, you know, I love hearing from everybody and, and uh, I try to always improve if there's something that's wrong with them, just like I did with the Lexus. I always try to do something to – I'm never happy with them, really, to be honest. I'm always trying to do something better and try to uh, have, you know, my cake and eat it too, so to speak. So I sure hope you uh, you come back and uh, visit again really soon. Of course, this will be uh, in the description. I'll have a link in the description. And I just want to say thank you to all my subscribers and everybody that supports me in any way. I really appreciate it, and uh, I hope you come back soon. See you.